Hey, I'm George Sears and I'd like to show you my top 5 compressors that I use. I'm gonna go from 5 to 1, meaning 5 is the lowest one and the first being the best one. I'll try to explain as best why I like them, what I use them for, so you can get the basic idea. Number 5, Melda Single Band Compressor, the free version. Number 5 is taken by the Melda Compressor. It's from the bundle they offer for free. It's actually a really good compressor, but I use it sparingly. Why? Well, the UI kind of sucks. The stiffness of the UI is a good thing in the end, but that's not the main issue here. The graphics feels kind of weird for this type of simple plugin. It's a standard UI that Melda uses for their plugins, and true, you don't have to put up with different shit all the time you use a different plugin, even from the same vendor. Looking at U waves. The good news is that you can change its skins inside the plugins option, so it has that going for it. The stiffness can also be viewed as a bonus for those making the small adjustments when finding that sweet spot. But the end results are great. It has a transparent sound that does not color the sound much, if at all. And for a free plugin you get what others charge money for. Inside you have all the graphs you need, meters and all that jazz. As a bonus, Melda throws in a limiter. You cannot adjust its settings, but it's there for you just in case your sound goes haywire. What I use it for is when I'm trying to find that gentle, transparent, accurate compression. I wouldn't use it for any extreme sound smashing, but for sounds that require this kind of a compression approach, I would use this. Here's an example. Number 4 goes to Slick HDR. Now this compressor is special to me. Imagine yourself in a situation where you master a track and you try everything to make it sound louder. Every attempt is fruitless and you start to lose hope for the almost finished project. Going back to the mix doesn't help because for some reason you can't pinpoint the problem in the mix. You take a breather, drink some coffee and you go back. Search the web for advanced compression techniques and you find this baby. The Slick HDR plugin. Now I'm gonna quote the official release from Variety of Sound website. Quote, Technically speaking, Slick HDR contains a coupled network of three dynamic processors, with two of them running in a stateful saturation configuration and one based on a look-ahead processing. Now I have no idea how it is mathematically designed, and I don't care. From what I understand is that there are three dynamic compressors next to each other with different timing on their attack and releases. There are some coloring options for your needs and a bypass button. 
This baby can really bring up the loudness of the track without destroying the sound. From my experience, you can drive it really far until you start hearing a distortion. I don't know how this plugin does it, but it just works. Here's an example. Number 3. The Great Middleway of Waze. It's the built-in compressor inside Studio One. This compressor is versatile and can handle almost anything you run through it. The feeling I get from it is that it's not exactly transparent, but it has that feeling of transparency and at the same time has almost that smashing or gluing effect like the SSL compressor is famous for. You can set it to auto timing for both attack and release. You can also set adaptive timing on it, which is on by default and when it's on, it shows more of that transparency than the smashing slash gluing. So obviously, I would use it to compress almost anything, starting from percussive sounds to more flat ones, like pads or stuff like that. When set right, gluing a certain sound with the reverb or delay effect together is perfectly doable with this compressor. Here are some examples. Number two, not on the toilet. Well, I was thinking about this for a while and I couldn't decide if this one was number one or number two, but it ended up in a second place and I'll explain why. So number two is Melda Dynamics Multiband Compressor. This is a beast. It's not a free plugin, but it's worth every euro you pay for it. Take the Melda basic compressor and multiply it by 100. Now the UI, basically the same style as every other Melda plugin. 
but it works this time. Their UI is suitable for complex plugins, in my opinion at least. What you get inside is every multiband compressor you come across on the internet inside just one plugin. For me, the main attraction here are the slopes between the bands. You can set them from 12 dB per octave up to 120 dB per octave. When going above 48 in a non-linear phase mode, you start to add really nice sound coloring. Well, it absolutely destroys some of the percussive sound attacks, but the coloration is really great and pleasant. The sound starts to be cruncher without even compressing it. You have tons of presets to start from and there is also an online repository that you can contribute to and gain some inspiration from. I can totally recommend this one. If you find it in the Eternal Madness discount program, don't wait. Shut up and take my money! Too long, try to catch the sun. We found out the world where all was upside down. You can never guess if it's morning or midnight, and in all this mess, we completely lost our mind. All these endless nights. Drive away too long, try to catch the sun. We found out the world where all was upside down. You can never guess if it's morning or midnight. And in all this mess, we completely lost our mind. All these endless nights. Drive away too long, try to catch the sun. We found out the world where all was upside down. You can never guess if it's morning or midnight. And in all this mess, we completely lost our mind. Number one, density mark three from variety of sound. Now this plugin is something special in my eyes. To me, this is legendary stuff right there. Why? I use this one so much for its character and how quickly I can work with it. Just put it on the insert, turn the drive knob up, turn up the makeup knob about the same, set the timing and boom, you always, and I mean always, have a nice compression. Never in my time I got a bad sound out of this plugin. 
I worked with it so much that I can use it with my eyes closed. This is the best compressor plugin I have ever used. For me, the glue effect is comparable with the SSL hardware unit. Though I have to repeat that, for me it's comparable, and in some cases even better. What sucks about it is the CPU usage. It's not exactly terrible, but in larger instance numbers, you will start to feel its presence in the project. But take my word for it and use it on anything you can think of. Master bus, beat bus, pads, percussive sounds, synth basses, leads, anything. Let me show and tell you about its glue effect and how fast you can work with it. As a bonus, I throw in a compressor that I discovered recently thanks to a discussion with one sound engineer on Facebook. Cytomic, the glue. Fitting name for a nice compressor. I was looking for a decent emulation of the SSL G bus compressor that Waves just refuses to release outside bundles for some reason. Like, why? I guess nobody would want the channel strips, but whatever. Don't care anymore, I have this now. Cytomic the Glue is a bus compressor that emulates circuits between the E and G channel strips. From my experience so far, it sounds great and for the price of 100 bucks, you get a full featured bus compressor. I have not yet used this compressor much to give you more in-depth opinion, but as soon as I get more experience with it, I can make a full featured review. Alright, this was a video about top 5 compressors that I use. I hope you enjoyed it, leave a like if you did, subscribe to my channel, catch me up on Twitter or Facebook and see you in the next one. Take care, bye.